Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, since the Revere tornado, every county in Massachusetts has had a tornado touchdown since records have been, been kept, with the exception of Nantucket. Fortunately, things are very quiet today. The humidity's really dropped off, and that's one big ingredient you need to get downpours and strong thunderstorms. So top of the radar looking uh, pretty good right now as we take a look at it. Overnight tonight, uh, temperatures will be dropping through the upper 50s to low 60s. The dry air is in place, so nothing on Doppler radar. Humidity on the rise by the end of the week, and especially the weekend, and that may play a part as far as precipitation chances, both Saturday and Sunday. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, watching the tropics, uh, Hurricane Center keeping an eye on a system that's way out in the eastern Atlantic. Southern New England is way up in here. Here's the east coast of the United States. Talk about far out at sea, but it's this cluster of showers and thunderstorms it's seeing some signs of at least some rotation trying to occur within this cloud mass. So it is possible over the next day or two that this becomes either tropical depression or tropical storm. If that happens, it would be called Bertha. And if it were to affect any land areas down the road, it would be many, many days away. So obviously a lot of time to be watching that. Meanwhile, closer to home, skies are clear, beautiful summer night, temps in the mid 60s. In some cases, it's down in the upper 50s. I mean, it's not often during the middle of summer you get temperatures like this, along with very low humidity. So it's comfortable. It's not muggy or steamy. 65 now in Providence on a light west breeze coming in at 5. Talk about cool for this time of year. Smithfield already down to 59. Open up the windows, let that fresh air in as we widen out the view. Dry air all across New England right now, but generally clear skies. A front offshore from yesterday responsible for pushing all the humidity out to sea. So uh, we're looking good right on through the overnight into tomorrow morning. Take a look at the temperatures starting off now. Upper 50s to 60s, dropping down to around 57, 58 in the pre-dawn hours. By 7 o'clock in the morning, we're starting off in the upper 60s throw in some sunshine another nice day inland areas topping out in the low 80s much like today and the coastline and the beaches mid and upper 70s by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night temperatures fall back into the mid 60s future cast for this evening and overnight clear dry comfortable temperatures down to about 57 to 62 here comes the sun again for tomorrow. Temperatures during the morning, 60s and 70s, heading up into the lower 80s. All outdoor activities for tomorrow, giving it the green light. Very comfortable. Bay forecast has good visibility and a light breeze first south and then southwest at 5 to 10 knots. Waves are small. Seven-day future cast. Decent stretch of weather now through at least Friday. Temperatures are pretty comfortable. It was a nice beach day today. Similar for tomorrow. Air temperature at 75. Water temp at 70. Now for Thursday, better part of the day looks dry, but during the afternoon, a mix of clouds and sunshine, small chance of a sprinkle or a, or a shower, but at this point would not cancel any outdoor activities for Thursday. Most of the time it's just dry and mild. Friday looking okay. Some question marks for the weekend. We're still keeping scattered showers in the forecast for both uh, Saturday and Sunday. Now, whether or not this is just a nuisance or something where it really hampers your outdoor activities uh, remains to be seen, so check back with us, but we'll keep at least scattered activity for both days on Saturday and Sunday. Higher humidity with uh, temperature in the upper 70s, but no problems now through at least Friday and no signs of any big heat or extreme humidity. So pretty comfortable. All right, Tony, yeah. thanks. Coming up.